everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Monica and I make videos to help you on your plant-based journey. In this video, we're gonna be talking about collagen, what it is, and how you can boost production on a plant-based diet. Make sure to watch all the way through because I'm gonna give you some tips on foods to eat that will naturally boost your collagen production. Let's jump right into it, but before we do, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more helpful videos like this. Thanks for watching and let's get started. So I'm sure you have heard of collagen, collagen boosters, vegan collagen, vegan collagen supplements, and it's really important to know what collagen actually is and where you can get it from so that you don't fall into the hype of these collagen products. So collagen is the most abundant protein in your body. It's found in your skin, your bones, your muscles, your tendons, and it makes up actually about one third of all the protein in your body. It's kind of like the glue that holds everything in your body together. Naturally, as we age, we start producing less collagen. Aside from aging, there are different factors that can contribute to the decrease in collagen production, and that includes exposure to UV light, smoking, and pollutants in the air. With that, the skin loses its strength and elasticity, and it's really important that we try to replenish it. Most collagen products that you'll find are made from the bones, skin, and connective tissues of cows, horses, rabbits, pigs, and other animals. But it's 2020 and we do not have to ingest the collagen taken from animal bodies. There are so many natural ways to boost collagen production and there are even vegan collagen supplements and boosters. These vegan supplements are usually made from bacteria or yeast and provide you with the building blocks, the amino acids, and the vitamins that help you produce more collagen. If you're going to use a collagen supplement, I highly recommend using a vegan collagen. Not only is it animal free, but it's also much more cost effective than animal collagen. This makes it more widely available, not only for consumers, but also for medical procedures. It's used in many medical procedures for promoting skin and tissue growth and wound healing and other treatments. Another reason why you should choose vegan collagen over animal collagen is because it is lab controlled. Because it is lab controlled, they are more capable of controlling the source of the ingredients, which makes it safer for the consumer, especially when it comes to allergies and animal transmitted illnesses. Now let's talk about natural collagen boosters. There are foods that we can eat more of that contain the micronutrients necessary to produce collagen. The first is red fruits and vegetables like red bell pepper, strawberries, and tomatoes. These are rich in antioxidants and act as a natural sunblock and collagen booster. They're also high in vitamin C, which promote collagen synthesis. Another food is berries. Berries are full of antioxidants, which can help fight off the free radicals that can damage your skin. Another food is avocados. Avocados are high in vitamin E, which can help fight off the free radicals. Healthy fats like avocados and flax seeds are really important for healthy hair, skin, and nails, and are high in omega-3 fatty acid. The next thing is dark, leafy greens like kale and spinach, which are rich in vitamin A and vitamin C. Orange fruits and vegetables like sweet potato, carrots, and mango are also high in vitamin A, and oranges and citrus fruits in general are really high in vitamin C, which have the ability to turn amino acids into collagen. Next is garlic. Garlic contains a specific acid that helps to rebuild the fibers and collagen that become damaged as you age. Garlic is also one of the best sources of sulfur, which is required for collagen production. The last thing is protein. Make sure you're getting adequate protein from plant-based sources like beans, nuts, seeds, or soy. So to wrap this up, if you're going to use a collagen supplement, I highly recommend you use a vegan collagen as opposed to an animal collagen. Also make sure that you're eating a well-balanced, nutrient-dense diet and foods that contain the micronutrients necessary to produce collagen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. Give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful and I will see you guys next time.